didn't, Carl. I didn't lick you. Yes, you did. You licked me, and the rules are very clear about licking. We said that there would be no wedgies, swirlies, purple marbles, or licking. I am telling you for the last time, Carl, I did not lick you. I simply gave you a wet Willie Taggart. I am the king of tag. You'll never get away. Mugsy's playing too. I don't care who's chasing me. Nobody beats me at tag. Time out, Muggsy. The rules clearly state that if there are free snacks available, all game playing stops. What are you talking about? Wow, Muggsy. For never playing tag before, you're actually pretty good. Tread usually loses me back there in the swamp. <clears throat> I wasn't playing tag. Sure you were. And we'll get right back at it once we finish our snack. Yeah. Some campers left a half box of sugar-coated chocolate boom-booms in the trash. <sighs> I wasn't playing tag. I was trying to do a little fishing at the pond. Wow, that sounds relaxing. Yeah, you'd think it would be, wouldn't you? Well, we're glad you decided to play tag instead. Those two are crazy. Who plays tag in Poison Oak? I hope I have some calamine lotion back at the dam. Oh. Tread, Tread, where'd you go? Hey, is it nighttime? Oh, look. Oh no, my lures are out of alphabetical order again. Ah, I'll have to alphabetize these again when I get home. Hmm, I wonder what would work best this time of year. Uh, a yellow-bellied bamboo beetle? Or the always popular molting melon maggot? I have a good feeling about the triple-headed tufted tick. Hey Lily, how's it going? It's going great. Hey Muggsy. Yeah Lily? What's with the rash? Oh, I was playing tag with Carl and Tread. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, speaking of Tread and Carl, look over there. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. I've worn those two over and over again. Uh, Lily, uh, you got any whipped cream? Come on, little bunny. Let me pet you. Hey, hey, can I keep them? Ah, they're adorable! <laughs> what are you two doing? We're having snacks! Yeah, Muggsy. Uh, by the way, that foaming mouth trick was genius! Want a neck? <laughs> How many times have I told you two that you must be careful around people you don't know? You forgot the safety rules, didn't you? But those folks look real nice. They came up to us and, and, and they wanted to pet us. We just thought we could have some of their chicken. They may have looked nice, but you don't know them. Here, watch this film strip. There are millions of people in the world. Most of these people are really very nice, but there are some people that you need to be careful around. Really? Anytime you want to go somewhere, 
Ask your adult first. Don't listen to someone who tells you it's okay to leave without checking in with your caregiver. It's okay to say no to a grown-up who is asking for your help. Adults know they should be asking other adults when they need help, not little kids. So, we should never talk to strangers? The old rule, don't talk to strangers, isn't completely accurate. If you are in trouble, people you don't know can actually be very helpful. If you get lost or need help, a uniformed police officer or firefighter can help you. If you need help in a mall or store, a clerk with a name tag or a mom with children can be someone you can go to for help. But the snacks! Some people may be tricky. They may seem really fun, but then do things that confuse you or make you feel unsafe. Or they can offer you presents, money, or even treats if you do what they want. These people may try all kinds of tricks to get you to go with them or try to touch you and tell you to keep it a secret. Use your brain and be safe. How do we tell who we can talk to? Ask your parents or caregivers to help you figure out who your helping grown-ups are. You can talk to them when someone does something that doesn't feel right. They may be adult members of your family, a friend's parent, or another adult that you trust. Anything else we should know? Don't ever give out any information about your personal life. This means you should never share your personal information on the phone or over the internet. Sometimes grown-ups pretend to be kids and try to trick you. If you have a strange feeling in your tummy about a situation, run away. Sometimes people who we think are okay turn out to feel unsafe to us. It doesn't matter who the person is. It could be someone you really like and feel very close to, or someone you don't know at all. Have your family choose a secret password to use in emergencies. If someone says it's an emergency and you need to go with them right away, they need to know that password. Wow, I never thought about all that stuff before. Snake eyes! Promise me that you two will be more careful about the situations you get into. If you're not careful, you could end up stuffed and sitting on a bookshelf somewhere. We promise, Muggsy. Yeah, we promise. <laughs> Carl? Yeah, Tread? You smell that. Huckleberries? They must be ripe! Last one there is road pizza. Wanna go, Lily? Sure. Someone needs to keep those two out of trouble. <laughs> Crazy kids. Now, wait a minute. Who could that be? Ah, darn campers, always trampling my flowers. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sir? Sir, would you mind setting up camp over there? You're standing in my flower bed. What in the world is this? Uh, who put these fish here? Uh, 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 mm, smelled. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Hey. You were right, Clem. This fuzzy little guy couldn't resist a big old pile of fresh milk. I told you, I told you. Yep, these little guys, they love the fishies. <laughs> ah, I can't believe it. I forgot the safety rules. Oh, this little guy's gonna make us rich. He's exactly what our roadside attraction needs. <laughs> Oh, oh, what was that? Hunters? That was not a hunter. It sounded like an engine. What would a car be doing up here? I don't know. Let's go take a look. Uh, Is that Muggsy? Where? Get me out of here. Yeah, right. I'm a here we go. Oh no, it is Muggsy. What's Muggsy doing in that van? I think he's being kidnapped. Run, Stop this crazy thing! We have to save him. I know what we can do. Follow me. Okay, Carl. Tell me the truth. This isn't going to be some harebrained idea that has little chance of success and involves some sort of explosion, is it? Well, which do you want? Do you want the truth? Or do you want me to tell you that this isn't some harebrained idea that has little chance of success and involves some sort of explosion? Never mind. What's your plan? Over here.
Carl, you're not thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? I don't think I'm thinking what you think I'm thinking. I don't think either one of you is actually thinking. There it is. Come on, quick. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Carl? Yes, Lily? You do realize that for this truck to move, you have to start the engine, don't you? Oh, well, uh, uh, yes, of course, I, I, I knew that. Uh, I just never really had the need to actually... I think what Carl is trying to say is that we've never tried to start this truck before. I gathered that, but if we're going to rescue Muggsy, we have to start this truck up. Get down there and rub those two wires together. These two wires? No, Tread. These two wires. Ah, oh. <laughs> no, Tread. These two wires. No, Tread. These two wires? Those would be the two. Now, Tread, you're in charge of gas and brakes while Carl steers. You guys ready? What was that? You said I was in charge of the gas. Not that kind of gas. Carl, roll down the window. Okay, boys, time to go get Muggsy. Tread, give her some gas. I would like to report the abduction of my good friend Muggsy. He's been put into a truck and two men are driving off with him. Can you describe your friend? You got it, good buddy. He's a short, hairy guy. I mean, really hairy. Brown hair all over his body. He's got a hairy back, hair on his face, and don't get me started about his armpits. He's been taken away in a white van by two men. They're heading south down Lookout Mountain. Open out of the alert immediately. That's a big 10-4. What do you mean? There's Malcolm! Well, hop the horn! I can do that! <laughs> Tread, wrong wires. Got it! How about this? Tread, hit the brakes! It's time for cake! The brakes! The brakes! Hit the brakes! Pretty well. Went well? Went well? Muggsy has just been kidnapped. We almost ran over Malcolm Moose. We crashed a logging truck, and we were just ran over by a van. Could be worse. How in the world could this have been worse? Well? Oh. Oh, wow. That was one bumpy ride. Ah, where am I? Okay, I I'm lost, and I don't know where I am. I need to stay in one spot so the rescuers can find me. Phew, ah, I stink.
Maybe a quick bath is in order. And then I need to find out just where I am. Where did all these people come from? Don't you people have homes? I'm trying to take a bath here. Is a little privacy too much to ask? Where in the world am I anyway? I can't believe that Muggsy is gone. Yeah, he was our bestest buddy. Well, we have to go rescue him. How are we gonna do that? We don't even know where he is. Sure we do. Those guys in the truck said they were off to some place called Burns Varmint Village. No! Oh, goody, goody! I love Varmint Village! Can I have an elephant ear when we get there? What the? Fever, fever! Catch it! I don't believe this. I'm in some kind of roadside tourist attraction. I have got to get out of here. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? I think somebody has made a terrible mistake. Uh, you got a problem there, Mr. Chompers? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, ooh. Could we get a few fresh towels out here by the pool? So, we have to go down there to rescue Muggsy? You got it, Tread. You ready? Bad things happen to my family in the city. What are you talking about? I am an opossum. We don't do well around roads. Nobody in my family has ever successfully crossed a road of any type. Okay, okay, okay. We'll stay clear of the roads. Now let's go. Eep. So much for avoiding roads. My Uncle Tubby was run over by a cement truck, and Cousin Billy Bob was done in by a school bus. Don't even get me started about minivans. Find a happy place, Tread. Find your happy place. Chill out, Tread. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Now come over here. How in the world are we getting across that asphalt strip of death? Well, there's no way we're crossing this freeway during rush hour. We have to stop the traffic so we can get across. Why do we have to cross the road? To get to the other side. Duh. We need to get to the bus station. I've seen flyers at the campsite with the bus route on them. The bus goes to Burns Varmint Village. So, little Miss Smarty Pants, how do we stop eight lanes of metal pain going 80 miles an hour? I'm not sure, Tread, but I do know that we have to figure out something fast. Who knows what poor Muggsy's going through? Yeah, poor Muggsy. There, that's better. Whew, it was getting a little warm in here. <laughs> now, how about some of those grapes? Wow, these are good grapes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for Beaver Country Jamboree in the Beaver Exhibit. Come on, Chompers. Do something. You know, entertaining like. Why? That's what all these people are here for. They want to see you preform. Beavers don't perform. It's not like I'm a poodle or a stupid orca whale. Well, if you want dinner tonight, you better think of something. Dinner? You've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, here goes nothing. No, flash photography. Please. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta-da!
Okay, tough crowd. Time to ramp it up a notch. Hey, Chompers, this wood carving thing ain't working out. I got another idea. <laughs> idea? I don't like this. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats. It's time for the death of fighting Flaming oh. Beaver. Our little flat tailed furry friend will now swim three laps in his pond to build up enough speed to burst out of the water and fly through the flaming ring of death. Beavers have been known to hit speeds of 367 miles per hour in the water as they try to escape their natural enemy, the puma. 367 miles per hour? This is ridiculous. And I like pumas. Oh, oh, ah, oh this is cold. to swing across to the other side. Okay, one at a time. Carl, you go first. Why me? Why not? Drat, good point. Okay, one down and one to go. Oh well, back to the drawing board. Hey, what do you know? Hi, Lily! Hi, Lily! Over here! Great plan! Here we are! Now let's get to Varmint Village! I'm not going down there. It's gross. Yeah! Look at that! Is, is that a chili dog? Oh, wait a minute. It's a shoe. Never mind. I'll get it. We can't get on the bus if we don't have any money. That should be enough for bus fare. What? I was thirsty. One ticket to Vern's Varmint Village, please. Tread, do we have any change left? Not anymore. Oh, great. Now what? I've got it. Tread, tie the string around your leg. Now suck on this. What? Trust me! That's 
disgusting, Tread. Okay, boys, let her rip. Where in the world could Muggsy be? Yeah, this place is like a million acres big. How are we ever going to find Muggsy? Keep your eyes peeled. I'm sure there's a clue around here somewhere. Attention, ladies and gentlemen! It is time for the 253 performance of the Flaming Beaver in Auditorium B. Beaver, Beaver! Catch it! Please, what are we gonna do? We're never gonna find Muggsy in this place! What are we gonna do? Muggsy, where are you? How are we going to get in there and rescue Muggsy? Here, take these. Cool, huh? Look out, ladies and gentlemen! The three loose beavers! Rabbit beavers! Watch out! Grr, mad beaver! Hey, quick, quick, go get some backup. We got beavers all over the place. Yoink. Get off! Get off! He's so soft! Get off! Get you, little mermaid! Guys? What in the world are you doing here? We're here to rescue you. Come on quick, while there's still confusion. Right behind you, Lily. Are those pieces of gum in your mouth? It's sleepy time, beaver boy. <laughs> I smell toast. Nighty night, Aunt Betty. How are we gonna get Bugsy out of here? Take this! Ah! Tread, you idiot. <laughs> beaver, beaver! It sure is good to have you back home, Muggsy. Yeah, Muggsy. Great to have you back. Uh, Muggsy? Uh, do you want a marshmallow? Muggsy? Muggsy? Hey, Carl! Looks like somebody wants to wrestle! Ugh. Ow! Ugh. I got him! Get him! Ow! Hit me, hit me! No, no! Oh! Ugh. Just like old times, huh, Mug? <laughs> Tread, you killed Muggsy! But we were just wrestling like we always used to do! Oh, Muggsy! <laughs> you were so young! Cool it, guys. I think you just rescued a plush toy. What? <laughs> You're alive! And your head's still attached, which is great news! Of course my head's still attached. Thank you so much, officer. I really appreciate all of your help. Well, we couldn't have located you without the quick thinking of your friends here. Their call and description of you allowed us to locate you quickly. You guys stay safe now. Boy, it's good to be home. Well, it's good to have you home, Muggsy. I really appreciate the fact that you guys came all the way into the city to rescue me. Ah, oh, Muggsy, we do anything for you. I guess it is really important to make sure we all follow the safety rules and not just talk about them. You said it, Muggsy. No matter where we are or what we're doing, we have to remember to be aware of our surroundings and situations. 
We shouldn't be afraid of going places or being around strangers, but we really have to make sure we're paying attention. Hey, Bugsy. Yeah, Tread? To help make sure we know who's safe to be around, can we come up with a secret password? Why, Tread, I think that would be a fantastic idea. What password would you like to use? Hey, I, I vote for... <laughs> Flaming Beaver. <laughs> That's not funny, Carl. 